Okay, today I want to show you guys a couple tips on making propane tank stoves with this older stove I made a long time ago and this is actually a 30 gallon but all the same normal techniques apply and what I've done different on this is the under fire air and the legs and I want to show you up close on how I did it on this particular model. So instead of a normal under fire air where I have the old valve and the bolt which out is closed, open is open. I have a preset amount of under fire air. It's like three five sixteenths holes. And I have extra holes here which I can open and close with this dial, which I can spin and align with the holes to give it more air or cut off air. That's one thing different. Um, I want you to try to think about different ways of doing these. This is one thing I experimented with quite a while ago. There were some hits and misses with it, but I wanted to show you how I, I did it. What I really want to show you on this video is how I did the legs on this stove. So, the lighting ain't the greatest in here, but let me show you this. So, what I have here, if I remember right, these are old door stops. And it's the kind of door stop that's brass and it's got the little rubber knob on the end where if you open the door too far, instead of the knob putting a hole in the wall, it'll hit the door stop. So I put three of them and I've aligned them with the old uh, seating stand of the, of the propane tank that was originally on there. And I perfectly spaced them and I bolted each end with three bolts through the bottom of the tank. Perfectly spaced so they make these really super heavy duty legs. And I really liked this. Let me show you how that stands. Perfectly even, no wobbling in anything. And what I want you to think about here is different things to make stands out of for wood stoves. You can see how cool that turned out to be. And besides that, everything on this on this wood stove is normal, like you can see on my previous videos. The door, the hinge, everything handmade, the, the latch, uh, over fire stove pipe. You can watch on my previous videos when I walk through how to do those. But I wanted to show you guys this for different ways of making uh, stove legs. This is something I really struggled with when I first started making stoves was how exactly to do the legs. And unless you have pre-made stove legs which are actually quite expensive, it's, it's a hard thing to wrestle with. So this is one opportunity to do it very well and easy and cheaply. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this. I wish you well. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.